Hi YouTube, it's Lynn again this week from Perth, Western Australia. I'm doing some shifting around outside in my back patio at the moment and I'm putting a few fowls in Lekka, or semi-hydro to be exact, um, and I've just picked up a plant that I did a spotlight on probably or about a month or so ago, which is fowl Schilleriana with a spade lip. Yep, spade lip. My girlfriend gave me this oh, October, right at the end of October. And I brought it home and it was in flower. Loved it. She thought it was deformed, but it's just a different kind of Schilleriana. And <laughs> you can see I'm pulling the roots off here. I put it on my windowsill in the kitchen so that I could see it every day. And then we started getting some really 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 hot weather it was an inferno here and it burnt through the window and it lost all its leaves on this side you can see on the left side that only there's leaves there's that one coming and i just thought now i'm trying to put the phone between my legs so that i can steady it so i can use two hands I don't know if this is going to work, but we'll try. So I'm just um, trying to put it in another position now, and I thought I'd have a look at it, and then it wobbled out of the pot, well, almost out of the pot. And so I tipped out all the media, that's all down there, and look what I found, apart from these mushy roots, which are coming off. I don't know where my scissors have gone now. Darn. Let me just have a quick look. No, can't see them. I'll have to rip it off. Um, so, look at this. It got so badly injured that it's grown a cakey out of the side. And not only that, I was just pulling all the old leaf dead bits off. And apart from all these brand new roots, there's something here, and I'm not sure what that is. I don't know if it's another cakey. I really hope it is. And I'm hoping against hope that it's not. Oh, I'm not, am I in the camera? Yes, but I'm obliterating half the view. That's my knee you can see there. Um, so this little piece here, I'm hoping it's another cakey and not a flower spike. Because if it is a flower spike, it's coming off. Now, this root seems firm, so that can stay on. But, wow. Whoops, nearly dropped the phone. I'm so surprised. Uh, just look at all these roots coming. Um, not too happy about whatever this or this little cakey here being so far down the stem because all these roots are coming up here. But it is what it is and I'll put up with it, <laughs> she says. So hopefully that's two cakeys. And I just had to show you. Wow, wow, wow. I'm so thrilled. I think probably what I'm going to do is get my secateurs and just take the end of this off. I'm going to put it back in here. This little pot has got a saucer on it and I think this is why I've had such a result with the roots here. Uh, I'll just repot it. Oh, look at me I'm getting my knees in the way. I'll repot it while I'm talking to you. And it's got a saucer which clips on the bottom of the pot and it maintains moisture in that little rim. It's only a few millimetres deep, not very, not even half an inch, and it maintains the moisture in the pot. And I've, I've actually just poured water through this and then I tipped it all out. So, and then what I did, I put sphagnum all around the top of the orchid and that's what's induced all these new roots. So that's what's happened in the last probably months. I can't believe I've had such a positive result with my little fowl, Shiliana, with the spade lip. So, brilliant, and I had to show you this. I just had to show you. Oh, I'm going to need two hands to finish the potting. So, I'm going to post this right now and then afterwards I'll show you what I'm doing with 
the rest of my hydroponic stuff. I've, I've um, my little tiny or my little corner unit there, you can see it's empty or just about empty. And I'm going to use that lecker probably for more hydroponics without curtain. And um, I'll show you what I've done shortly. See you in a while.